guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about all of my current favorites, must have products, must have items that I need in my life these days and that I've been constantly using on a daily basis. I know that a lot of you guys are stuck in quarantine and I myself, I have literally not left the house except to do like grocery errands um, every two weeks. And it's been like this for about four months now. I actually haven't even interacted with anyone my age for about four months, like in-person interaction. I only hang out with my parents, so I've been having some good old bonding time with my parents. While I've been in quarantine, I've been testing out a lot of products, I've been using a lot of different products, and so today I thought it would be a perfect opportunity for me to show you guys all of the things that I have been loving and using frequently, and I need to put you guys on this stuff because I am telling you, this stuff is seriously game-changing, and it has made my quarantine experience so much better. I have a little bit of skincare, a little bit of makeup, a little bit of lifestyle, some food, so, you know, all the good things. So if you guys would like to know what my current favorites are, then please keep on watching. So I think it would be appropriate for us to first get into skincare. So during this quarantine, actually in the beginning of quarantine, I broke out a lot on my skin because I was not used to staying home so much. And you know, at home air circulation is of course not as good as going outside. And before quarantine, I would walk around a lot, and, you know, get a lot of good exercise. But now that I am in quarantine, uh, your girl does not work out as hard as she used to anymore. In fact, honestly, these days I barely work out. Like. It is just not the same, you know? Like when you've been working hard in the gym, having some like resistance bands, having some light dumbbells at home, or sometimes having no equipment at all, it is just not the same as having a heavy ass barbell and doing some hip thrusts, like it is just not the same. So I have definitely not been working at the same level that I used to be, which is really unfortunate because these booty gains are uh, near non-existent now, which is really sad. For now, the booty is gonna stay flat, it's okay. Not like anyone's gonna see it anyway. But while I've been in quarantine, I have been struggling a lot with skincare. In the summertime, I actually have really oily skin. And despite the fact that I have oily skin, it's still really important for me to keep my skin hydrated. This is a product that I have been really, really loving. This is, well, it's in Japanese. I have honestly been really into using Asian skincare products lately. I'm not saying that American skincare products are bad, not in any way, shape, or form, but I think that a lot of Asian skincare products are really, really gentle, and they're really good for sensitive skin, and I actually have pretty sensitive skin, so I have been using a lot of Asian skincare products lately. So this is a skincare product that I have been absolutely loving. It is a high moist skincare lotion, and although it says lotion, I found that in a lot of Asian products, when they say lotion, it's not really like a lotion. Like American lotions are quite thick. Like when you think of body lotion, it's quite like a thick cream. Asian lotions are more like a very thin, watery type, kind of like a toner, you can tell. It's very low viscosity, so it's not at all thick. And so what I typically do, this is like a huge bottle, 500 milliliters by the way, and this stuff is so, so inexpensive. Um, this is only, I believe, I mean it's definitely like under $15 for this huge bottle and it lasts literally forever. I've been using this for three months now and look how much I've used. Like, I, this whole bottle can literally last me a whole year, and I use this every day. Once a day, only in the morning. So in the morning, what I do is I wash my face. Right after I wash my face, you know, your face is still kind of dripping from the water after you've rinsed off the suds. Then I pump two of these into my hand, and I literally just splatter it all over my face. And I pat it down, of course, down to my neck because it's really important for you to moisturize your neck as well. It smells a little bit like sake in the beginning, but the smell literally goes away within like 30 seconds. So it's not a huge big deal. And I feel like this really helps with keeping moisture on. So sometimes I don't even need to use moisturizer because a lot of the times moisturizers are pretty thick and since I have oily skin, it's really important for me to still hydrate my skin but sometimes I don't want to slather on so many creams and stuff. So in the summer and pretty much all throughout the year actually, I really enjoy using this. This has really been a favorite of mine. It's been keeping my skin moisturized and yeah, highly recommend this. It's so not expensive at all too which is absolutely great. Anyway, because I have had a lot of different acne scars, I have been wanting to increase the brightness of my face. It's kind of like, you know how people apply vitamin C, it's good for brightening up your skin, just making your skin appear more youthful and more glowy. So I have been 
using this product called the Sesake Lotion right over here. Like the other lotion that I showed you earlier, like this one, it is again very low viscosity, it's just very liquidy, kind of just like water in a sense. And I put a little bit of this on a cotton pad and I just kind of like press this into my skin. I don't really swipe on my skin, I just kind of press the product into my skin and this has been really, really great at brightening up my skin, closing up my pores, moisturizing my skin, and it is literally so good at making my skin appear like tighter in a sense. Like it's less saggy, it's good for just giving your skin more moisture and really brightening up your skin. I have used this product for about three months now and you can tell I'm like a little bit like halfway through the bottle. Um, this stuff is seriously so, so good. Of course, like with any skincare product, it does take a little bit for you to notice some difference. So after a pretty much like maybe like two, three weeks of usage, I definitely noticed that my skin was a lot brighter. It seemed a lot healthier, more glowy, and I can definitely say that this product has really helped me do that. So if you guys have like some kind of dull skin and you want to brighten up your skin, highly recommend this product. It definitely does scale on the pricier side, but, but, ya girl, I can give you the tips on how to get this for much more affordable. So one bottle of this retails for, I think around $60 or $70, um, which is definitely not cheap, but, if you guys have a Costco membership, which I'm sure most of you guys do, you can actually get two of these for $80 on Costco.com if you have a membership and really great deal. I mean, $40 per bottle is still pretty expensive, but I think for how useful it is, and it lasts a pretty good long time, I think it's so worth it. Like two bottles for $80 and that will last you for a year. Like that's fantastic, honestly. So highly recommend this if you guys have a Costco membership. If you don't, this is something maybe you can save up money for and you can get it online but really recommend this product if you guys want brighter and more glowing skin. The next product that I'm gonna talk to you guys about is a vitamin C spot treatment. So again, I suffer from hyperpigmentation, so that means that I do get a lot of dark spots from leftover acne. A product that I discovered when I was in Japan earlier this year in January is this Melano CC Spot Treatment Cream. It's really a spot treatment some people apply all over their faces. I prefer to just apply the one or two drops in concentrated areas where I feel like I need it. So sometimes when I get acne on my cheek over here, like I put like a couple dots here. I typically only apply this at nighttime, but this is my second bottle of this now and it has lasted me a really long time. So one bottle of this lasts me maybe three months and this is really inexpensive too. It's like under $15 or maybe $15, something like that. And this is the best vitamin C spot treatment, period, period, okay? I'm telling you, I am telling you, this is literally the best vitamin C spot treatment ever, ever. And let me tell you why. So vitamin C is a very highly active ingredient. And so when it is oxidized, so that means if it's exposed to the air, it quickly loses its abilities to brighten up your skin, to enhance your skin, etc. So the brilliance behind this tube, okay? Do you see this tip right here? This tip is kind of like, um, it's a squeezy tube, but it's not a regular tip. Like the way that the tip is shaped, it does not allow any air to go inside. So that means that the product inside stays fresh throughout the entire time you are using the product. And that's really important because you want, of course, you want your skincare to last as long as possible, right? Like you don't wanna buy a tube and have it like not even work after like a couple uses because it's been exposed to the air and it no longer works. So the brilliance of this packaging is that your vitamin C active ingredient is going to stay active throughout the entire time you are using this tube. This has seriously, seriously helped clear up so much of my dark spots. Like, this product is good at brightening your overall face. It does not necessarily lighten or target specific spots. But with this, if you have a pimple, you know, like it's healing, like you see a little bit of scar, you apply this on that area a week, swear to God, the dark spot, the hyperpigmentation is gone. You have literally great skin. So, highly, 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 
I highly recommend this to you guys. No, this video is not sponsored. I'm just trying to put you guys on some bomb ass skincare products. If you guys have acne, if you guys have hyperpigmentation, this is the vitamin C product for you. I have just recently discovered these Cost RX pimple patches. So I'm sure you guys, or a lot of people have talked about this. You can actually get this off of Sephora. Um, I got mine off of Amazon, but sometimes I get them off of Sephora depending on if Sephora has their VIB sale. But these are the pimple patches and they come in a small tiny pack and all you have to do is you just put these little patches right directly on whatever pimple that you have. If it's like a budding pimple, if it's a really deep cystic acne pimple, you literally just put one of these patches on there. It's waterproof, you can wash your face with it and you literally just leave it on overnight. You can leave it on for several nights overnight and within like two to three days, not only has it decreased a lot more, but if you actually have a whitehead, this patch will literally suck up all of the pus underneath and your skin will be like perfect after you put this patch on. Once your acne is healed, put this on it. Boom. These two, I am telling you guys, miracle combination, okay? You put these two on, your skin is going to be clear AF. You don't even have to worry about pimples anymore. Next thing that I wanna to talk to you guys about are cotton pads. So remember how I was explaining how like, okay, this is like $80? Point is, this stuff is really expensive. So if you use those regular American cotton pads, I'm telling you those are booty. They are not good. Do not get the ones from like Target, Walmart, whatever. No, those suck, okay? Not only are they, they're like pretty thick, and they absorb so much product. So especially, it doesn't even matter if you have expensive or inexpensive skincare. Like any normal, sane person on this planet, you don't wanna be wasting product, okay? Wasting product, wasting money is just not good. It doesn't even matter if something's expensive or cheap. Of course, if you have a more expensive toner, you're gonna wanna save it even more. Every drop literally matters. Every drop is money, okay? So let me put you on these Asian cotton pads. So these are my two absolute most favorite cotton pads ever. They're not in huge quantities, but they're so thin. So this is a Japanese brand. Um, I'm not, it's by Unicharm. And this is a Korean brand called Pyong, Pyongkang. Pyongkangkul? Pyongkangkul? These are so great at using a little bit of your toner and you literally save so much. Let me show you guys how thin these are, okay? So you see them here, like it's like in a stack of four. They are so thin. I can't even explain to you guys how thin these are. Like, do you see how thin that is? It's literally like a sheet of paper. It is so thin. And you literally just go, so here's your lotion, okay? Here's your expensive, your inexpensive lotion, whatever, it doesn't matter. Bloop, 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 okay? Literally just like two. Just like bloop, bloop, that's it. You will see that this literally spreads the product out so well on this entire sheet, and the next thing you know, this entire sheet is literally soaked. Normally, if you use American cotton pads, you're gonna pop up and go bloop, 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 like a lot, a lot, okay? You waste so much product, and you don't even get to apply that much onto your skin because your cotton pad has soaked up all the product. This is really great at not soaking up that much product, so you save money, and you save product. And these are also not that expensive. So again, highly recommend these if you guys use toners in your skincare. Doesn't matter if your toner is expensive or inexpensive. Still, you really, really should get these because save your money, girl. Save your money. The next product that I'm gonna be talking about is a hair care product. Obviously, you guys know this. If you guys have been on my channel for a while, you know I used to have blonde hair. When I got my hair bleached, literally so much hair fell out. My, my hair is just really, really broken right now. Like It is just no bueno, no good. I have been trying to use different hair products, different hair masks to really help to nourish my hair and prevent more breakage. And this is a product that I really wanna to recommend to you guys. I got this off of Amazon, really great reviews. And honestly guys, the packaging is sick. Okay, look at this packaging. You see, it's like, okay, it's like a girl with like her hair, right? Watch this. Oh my God, do you see that? Oh my God, do you see that? Do you see that? I have never seen packaging like this. This is so cool. So this tube is like pretty small. It's not like a huge amount, but again, this product is not expensive. It's like under $15 and it is a collagen ceramide coating protein treatment. So I like to apply this into my hair right after I do conditioner and I literally just pump a little bit of this into my hand, 
really work it into my hair, mostly in the ends of my hair, a little bit at the roots though, not too much because I don't want my scalp to get more oily. But I really work this into my hair and I let it sit there for maybe like 10, 15 minutes. You rinse it out. Oh my God, your hair is so soft. Highly recommend this. Really helps with making my hair more silky, protects my hair, and it really gives my hair more strength, which is something that I need because my hair right now is so brittle. Not expensive, again, on Amazon. I'll put it in the link down below. And it is super great for strengthening your hair. It smells fantastic too, like. Yeah, it smells so good. Literally, you walk out of the shower, your hair is gonna smell easy breezy beautiful. I'm telling you. Now we're gonna move into more lifestyle stuff. So as I mentioned to you guys, remember how I said in the beginning of this video that I am no longer working out as hard as before? Well, even though I don't have the gym, I don't have a gym at my house or anything like that, I still need to like kind of work out. Like I don't wanna become completely just like a bum. So I have been using a lot of resistance bands because I don't have a barbell. So this is a resistance band that I got in the beginning of quarantine. It's like this. They have it in different thicknesses. So of course, thicknesses, thickness, thickness. They have it in different thickness, thicknesses. Did I really say thicknesses? Oh my God. I don't know what I was saying, but they have it in different thickness. So you can have some resistance bands that are like super thick. Um, and of course, the thicker they are, the more resistance they are. And um, I have it in a couple of different resistance sizes, but I feel like this thin one is one of the most versatile because you know you can tie it up, you can hang it over your uh, door, you could do like back workouts with this, you could uh, string it over your leg and you could do like bicep curls with this, you can tie it down, you could do like hip thrusts with this, you could do a lot of things, okay? So resistance bands, highly recommend. I've been using this all the time in my workouts. You could literally like stand on this and do like shoulder press, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, didn't shave my pits, sorry about that. And if you guys work out at home, you know, you wanna add a little something to your workout, add these resistance bands. Next thing we're gonna talk about is my personal favorite, which is matcha. Now, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I'm a huge matcha person. Even on my channel, I make tons of matcha baking videos because I'm obsessed with matcha. I have two favorite brands of matcha, but one of them I currently actually don't even have because I still have to order it again because I used it all up. One of my absolute favorite matchas. This is one of the best matchas out there. And I tell you it's the best because when I was in Japan, I got this matcha and it is so good because not only is the matcha extremely bright, so when you have matcha powders, you have varying, uh, they vary in brightness. So the brighter green your matcha is, the fresher it is in the sense that it was one of the first few harvests after the first few harvests, the second and third harvest, those matcha powders become more and more dull. So if your matcha powder is kind of more like a darker green, a little bit more yellow, it's not as bright, those are probably not as high quality and therefore they will be cheaper. The brighter green your matcha is, the fresher it is, and the more expensive it tends to be. Those tend to be for like ceremonial matchas, etc. So this is literally one of the best matcha powders out there. And I'm telling you it's the best, not only in taste, but also in value. Okay, this tiny bag. If you get this in um, Don Quixote in Japan, I believe it's like $5 or something like that. If you get it online, on this online shop that I found called Japanese Taste, they sell it for a little bit like $7, I think, so a little bit more, but so worth it. Okay, 30 grams of this for around $7, $8, and it is extremely bright. It's literally like ceremonial matcha. And if you look on Amazon, and okay, let me tell you guys, when I'm telling you I'm a matcha connoisseur, I am a matcha connoisseur, okay? I am a matcha connoisseur. Like, I very much pride myself in knowing which matcha brands are the best, which matcha brands are, you know, I, I, I think I'm honestly, honestly, I think I've tried over 40 different matcha brands. I've bought them on Amazon, I've bought them on like specialty shops, I've tried them in different stores. Like I have tried so many different matcha brands and when I tell you that this is seriously the best out there, in terms of value, okay? Like I have bought matcha powders that are 30 grams, same quantity as this, but they're normally in like um, a tin can. that are like 40, 50 dollars, some of them are 30 dollars for 30 grams. And with the amount of matcha I drink, I literally drink a matcha latte every single morning. If I am buying those 30 gram tins for 30, 40, 50 dollars, no. That is so not budget friendly. I would go, no, 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 no. Like, I like matcha, but I care about my wallet more, okay? The other brand that I really, really love, I'll put a picture right over here. It is from Sugimoto. 
Tsubimoto Tea, and they have a matcha called Uji Matcha. So they have three different kinds of matcha, but my favorite is the Uji Matcha. It's a little bit not as bright as this, but they come in much more sustainable packaging. It literally comes in a 200 gram package, and it's only like $45. 200 grams for $45, guys. Do you understand? Like, on Amazon, you have 30 gram tins for $30. This is giving you 200 grams for $45. So nearly seven times the quantity for a little bit more than what a 30 gram tin costs. So when I tell you that Sugimoto tea and this are the best matchas, the best value, the best tasting, trust me. So when you make matcha, it is really important that you have the proper utensils. Of course, when you make matcha, you need a bamboo whisk. Now, this is one of my absolute favorite bamboo whisks. They sell a lot of them online. Some of them are for ridiculous prices, like $60, $70 for a whisk. Like, what the hell? Like, it's just bamboo chill, okay? Like, I'm not paying $60 for a bamboo whisk when these things go bad with how much I use them. Like, I, I literally use this every single morning. And I do have to get these replaced, like, every few months or so because they do get worn out over time. And then after I rinse my whisk, I just pop it back in the stand, which is really important because, again, you really want to keep the shape of your your matcha whisk you don't really want it to get bent or distorted because then it won't whisk your matcha properly so really have been loving this and yeah it's just been great in making my matchas all right next thing that I want to talk to you guys about is that I have really really been loving baking lately so I've been baking tons and tons in my home and one of my favorite things to bake which honestly I've pretty much mastered is how to make banana nut bread like I've seriously, guys, seriously, I have gotten it down so well. I am really good at making banana nut bread. Like my parents love it, they rave about it. I don't make it too sweet because having too much sugar is not good for you. And portion control is really important. So I got these. Do you see how cute these are, guys? So these are mini loaf pans and they come in a set of three, but I only brought one to show you guys. Um, and I just got these off of Amazon. They're by Wilton. Like you can tell how small these are. It's like the size of my head. It's really small and they're so cute and I bake like two little banana loaves in there and it's really great at portion control. You cut a little bit of the slice so you're not eating like 300 calories a slice. Maybe you're eating like 100 calories per slice. I guess depending on how thick you cut the slice but these are so fantastic. I think that having mini loaf pants, I mean mini anything is just so much cuter. To be quite honest, I think things taste better when they're in mini forms. It just feels like, I don't know, I, I just think things definitely taste better when they're in smaller portions. You feel like it's more expensive. You know how like in fine dining restaurants or whatever, they're like these massive plates and like just tiny itty bitty food on top? Kind of like that, like that same concept. So when I have smaller pans, when I'm baking and I'm eating it and it's in smaller portions, it just feels more expensive. Like it feels like I'm getting fine dining baked goods. Something like that, you know? Anyway, really love these. I've been using these a lot. Now for my other snack that I have been absolutely loving. Yes, girl. Oh, it's literally not in the right way. I love Cheez-Its. Like cheesy snacks are my absolute favorite. Now I got these from Safeway and I think that these are the best because again guys, portion control is really important. You don't want to be eating a whole bag of Cheez-Its and the next thing you know the whole thing's gone. A great way that I portion control is that I get Cheez-Its in these little mini pouches and so they, these come in a pack of 12 and look how small they are. They're so cute. Like one pouch is 140 calories so you don't have to feel bad about eating one. After you eat two, that's when it gets a little dangerous, okay? So don't be eating more than one. Maybe two. So, love these. And these have all, honestly all the best flavors. Original, Cheddar Jack, and White Cheddar. These are the best. So if you guys are in Safeway, you guys got a club card, get one of these. These were on sale the last time I went. Now, the last thing that we are going to talk about. I know, guys. We're rounding out this video. We're almost done. Just stay with me, okay? Just stay with me. I know this video is probably super long. I'm sorry about that, but there were just a lot of favorites that I've accumulated that I need to talk to you guys about. The last thing that I want to talk about is this. Do you guys know what this is? Am I old? This is a Nintendo DS. I don't know if anyone else has one of these, but I used to play this when I was like seven. 8, 9, 10, 11. Now that quarantine is back, I see everyone been playing Animal Crossing, people have been buying Nintendo Switches, but I'm just not 
that much of a dedicated gamer, so I don't feel like it's worthwhile for me to just blow $300 on a console, blow $60 more per game. That is ridiculous. That is li literally ridiculous. I remember when I was young, it's not like I'm old now. What? Uh, I guess I'm kind of old. My birthday is literally in two days, guys. It's on July 7th. So I am kind of getting a little old. I'll be 21. That's kind of scary. Anyway, so I got into Pokemon recently and I was watching like the Pokemon TV because it was on Netflix and I was, you know, the little kid inside of me was like, ooh, Pokemon, gotta catch them all, you know. So I went on eBay, I bought the Diamond, Nintendo Diamond, and it's in here. And I've been playing my Pokemon Diamond and I have been, you know, battling gym leaders, you know, whatever. And it's been really fun. It's just kind of like a way for me to get back in touch with my childhood, just kind of reminisce on those times. So I have been really loving this. I don't have the Nintendo Switch. I will never buy the Nintendo Switch. That's just not for me. I mean, I get how it's more fun if you can play with like a bunch of other people, but since I'm just by myself, like there's just no point. And I don't really have time to sit there and play games for hours and hours because honestly, guys, my internship has me so freaking busy. I work like 12 hours a day. Not, not even joking. And yeah, so this has also been a current recent favorite. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is all that I have for you guys today. These are all of my current favorites. I hope you guys liked the things that I talk about. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any favorites that you've had for during this quarantine. And I'll be sure to check those out. And make sure you follow me on Instagram, which is at MeredithHeartsU, and my Twitter, which is at MeredithMau, so you can see behind the scenes of what I'm doing when I'm not making YouTube videos. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my current favorites. Stay tuned and make sure you subscribe so that you can see other videos that I'll be posting throughout the rest of the year. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.